Yeah, Thor, it's like that. Shut down and get it going, man. Say it way out loud. Yeah, lots of them. It is, it is, man. So, the price you pay is suffering. Enjoy. Be a big shot. Yeah, man. I ain't trying to be no big shot. I'm trying to be a humble man. Very, very humble man. So, Gandhi said anger transmuted can be the most powerful driving force in the world. If you ask me, that must have been the most pissed off little Indian man in the entire world. <laughs> so yesterday, I kind of talked about this a little bit, but let's, let's put it really into perspective, okay? I've been, you guys know, been dealing with this for three and a half years. Taught myself to walk. Still my body's breaking down. And I've gone through all these doctors and all these doctors keep on sending me back to psychiatry because they can't figure it out, right? Well, you and I know I'm ill, right? And I've pretty much discussed where it came from, right? And the issues that I'm going through. And um, so I had another doctor yesterday, Dr. Batia. You know, in a long line of doctors, Dr. Hawk, Dr. Moore, Dr. Workman, Dr. Um, Yoder, um, uh, just a whole bunch of, oh, not Dr. Moore, excuse me, erase him, erase him, uh, that was a mistake. Um, so a lot of them, man, this is how it is, man. One, uh, if you tell me that because of my past methamphetamine use, because I'm, um, I'm open and I'm, I'm brave enough to tell you what I've gone through in my life, to be inspiration for others. And I, I think I've inspired a lot of people. A lot of people tell me I've inspired them, okay? So, Doc, hey, you didn't inspire me. You told me because this is your supposition too, okay? You're, this isn't even your field, okay? You end our whole meeting after I waited to see you, Dr. Bachi, for a long time, with telling me because of uh, supposition, because of meth use, that there are chemicals missing in my brain that you suppose, and that they can give me pills that psychiatry you suppose to fix my issue, and that you suppose that I need to open some more doors in my mind, and look at how far I've come. I've come this far because I did it myself. And if you know anything about recovery and the time in recovery and going through programs like the boot camp and the drug cramp program and all the other programs that I've gone through where I've learned cognitive tools, I've learned it doesn't burn a hole in your brain, it actually shuts down brain activity if you've been on meth for a long time. But then after a three year period, two year period, that entire activity comes back. This is what the scientists were showing people. And so you need to like look at what scientific information you're getting, okay? Being that I'm an addict and in recovery, I know all this stuff because I've been taught all this stuff because I study all this stuff because I got books on this stuff, all right? <laughs> all right, what does that say? <laughs> Drugs, <I'm> an <laughs> encyclopedia. Actually, the best one I have is um this guy really got it i looked for this book for you guys before you know you know so i'm not being mad guys um where is that book is that it all right so well anyways when i find it guys i read this one book on addiction and this guy had it so tight man he really he took it to the next level and a lot of programs they don't take it to the next level. Um, the closest I've seen is um, doing step work in the boot camp in a very small enclosed room with an A&D counselor over a six month period, meeting him twice a week for an hour and a half with a group of men who were eight men who I know things about those men and they know things about me that you know we'll never ever share, but created such a deep bond within us and a, quick, a deep understanding of what goes on in the, in the mind of an addict, in the mind of a person with cognitive disabilities, because so many people are out there running around with, um, you know, thinking errors. Supposition is a thinking error. So look, y'all ain't gonna stop me. Y'all ain't gonna con convince me that my 
brain is doing this when I know it's my body. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> I'd be a fool if I believed you. I would be insane if I believed you. Okay, that's the catch-22. And you really need to stop trying to do this to my head because it ain't going to work. I'm way, way stronger than that, man. I'm way, way better than that. And it's looking like I'm way, way better than you. Huh? How many people have you inspired, doctors? You know, my pastor did tell me that he didn't like you very much either. You know, I wanted to come in and see for myself. Peace, y'all. Hey, look, man. Hey, Dr. Maha, rock! <laughs> and those who've helped me, yeah, you rock. And I got much love for anybody who's taken the moment to really take a look at me and take a look at my suffering and say, I wish we could find a way to end it. I really got a lot of love for you all. And um, I'm just going to keep fighting, man. I've been doing this for three and a half years on my own. And now I'm just going to get back wild and, and do the best I can, man. You know what I mean? There's a far, far better thing that I do now that I have ever done. <laughs> you know? How much suffering does a man have to go through to walk again as a man? <laughs> Upon the road of life, of joy, man. I don't know. I think I, I, I got about double that. <laughs> if you hear me, if you understand me, just... This is the best way I can express this without attacking anybody, without being angry and going after them. This is a way of saying, look, I'm moving forward. You all are stuck. Okay? You're stuck on the fact that I'm an ex-addict. You're jealous that I, I'm sorry to say this, in that form. I hate to say it in that form because I, I like to be humble about my abilities. But I'm an athlete. And the fact that I'm 45 years old and still can run a 13 flat 100 yard dash and be handicapped just means I kick ass. That's what it means. The fact that I taught myself how to walk and ran 4,000 miles and work out with weights and do a show and do all the stuff I do, that means I kick ass. That's what it means. That means Thor is a one percenter, that I rock, that I'm a soldier, man, that I got love that y'all don't even understand, man. You can't even comprehend the kind of love that I'm coming out with. So, see if you can live up to that, man. Peace. Thor.